one. Hey, James and George, I'm working today. You can see I'm in my work clothes, but I have got a story for you guys. This is a book that I know you're gonna love because we've read it many a times in the past. It is Pete the Cat and Those Missing Cupcakes. Let's check it out. All right, guys, Pete and Gus, they were busy as they could be. They were getting ready for a cupcake party and that party started at three o'clock. They got the milk out, they got the flour, they're mixing up the batter, they are ready to go. They were making cupcakes for everyone, and Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They had ten, and they were done. And you notice that second one, that's a chocolate one. That's my favorite. All right, but what happened there? Oh, no, hang on. Some of the cupcakes were gone. They were sure they had been ten, but now, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> Pete said, maybe we need to count again. But they did. They were still only eight. Well, they counted the cupcakes. They lined them up straight. Now they were only eight. It looked like someone had taken two of them. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Well, just then they found a clue. Gus said, look what I found. Sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was Squirrel. She loves sprinkles. But Squirrel said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been at the spelling bee. Uh-oh, more cupcakes went missing. Come and see. And sure enough, this was too weird. Two more cupcakes had disappeared. Now there were only six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, someone must be playing tricks. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Well, just then they found another clue. Look at those footprints there. Pete said, I bet it was the alligator. He loves to eat. But alligator said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Sure enough, now there were only four. Someone had taken two more. But who? Notice, guys, my chocolate cupcake is still there. Thank goodness. Well, Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found another clue. I bet it was Turtle, said Pete. I know that Turtle loves sweets. Well, Turtle said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be me. I was swimming in the sea. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. And sure enough... They were all gone. What on earth was going on? All the cupcakes were now gone, including my favorite, the chocolate one. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. They started looking for another clue. They found Grumpy Toad with icing all over his face. Pete and Gus, they had solved their case. I'm so sorry it was me, Ribbit. I could not stop with just one. I ate and ate, and then there were none. Ribbit, ribbit. Well, everyone agreed that Grumpy Toad, he would have to miss out on the fun. He could not be able to come to the party, not after what he had done. Pete said, but wait, Grumpy Toad made a mistake. This is true, but let's give him a second chance. That's what friends do. Well, Pete told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance, and he was so excited, he did the happy dance. Yeah. Well, the night of the party was so much fun that Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 cupcakes, and at least one, maybe two, are chocolate cupcakes. Pete the Cat's cupcake party was a huge success. The end. Guys, I miss you so much. I can't wait to see you again. Give mom and dad a kiss. You have the best parents in the world, and they love you dearly. I'll see you guys soon, all right? Bye-bye.